so the song starts off with a cowbell uh, going, you know, holding the beat, and uh, the guitar comes in with a little riff. So uh, this is an easy riff. Uh, how you play this riff? You uh, start on the fifth fret of the low E string. Then you go to the seventh fret of the low E string. Then you go to the fifth fret of the D string. Then the seventh fret of the A string. So then that just goes with the cowbell for uh, uh, the beginning of the song. And then it goes into the riff, and uh, here's how you play the riff. So it's in. Uh, you go to the. You go to the uh, third uh, third dot after the double dots. You uh, bend it up to two notes above it. And when you do that, you put your pinky on the same fret of the string below it, the uh, high E string. So then you can just pluck it. So. And then, after that, after you pluck the high E string, you unbend the, uh, the B string. Then you go to the second dot on the, after the double dots. And then you go down, or up a string. You play, on this string, you have to move down a fret from here. You move down since it's a, it's a different string. And then you just play this fret, two frets down, and then back up, back up to the second dot after the double dots. And then you do the same bend. So. And then after that, you go back to this, uh, to the uh, G string, you yeah. know. It's all pretty repetitive. So you start off. And then uh, eventually. And then here's uh, what they do in the uh, the verse. So in the verse, they just go uh, a slide from a D power chord to an E power chord on the A and D strings, the second and third strings. And, uh, and then they just add a couple fills the, uh, on the power chord area. So it would be like. So you can pretty much just improvise the fills because they aren't anything important. Um, so yeah, it goes from D, E, and it just kind of does that for a while, and then it goes into the uh, to the key change. It goes from a G power chord on the first and second strings to a uh, an A power chord on the same strings. So um, that's third fret uh, top string and fifth fret A string into the fifth fret top string and seventh fret A string. And then it just goes back into the D to E power chord. And then. Um, Here's the kind of cool part of the song. 
so that's the A into a uh, into a B power chord. So that's just one of those uh, two fret slides. Um, so yeah, A first and second strings. Uh. And then you go into that G to A slide. And then it goes into an E. And then you do that little riff at the beginning of the song again. And uh, that's pretty much Mississippi Queen. The, uh, the solo is basically different variations of the riff of the... So then they might play that in the beginning and he continuously... But the, uh, the solo is easy to figure out. I don't really need to teach that because I already taught the riff. And uh, like I said, it's just variations. So uh, it's all you really need to know about Mississippi Queen.